Here is your latest African news update. President of the General Assembly, <coughs> President Uhuru Kenyatta, uh, Excellences, fellow panelists, young people. For a country that has 60% of its population under the age of 25, and whose president is co-chair of the group of advocates of eminent persons for the implementation of the 2030 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, lending Ghana's voice in support of the United Nations Youth Strategy is easy. This event has added significance for us in Ghana because our departed illustrious compatriot, the former UN Secretary General, Kofi Annan, was a passionate advocate of youth development. He rejected the characterization of the youth as, quote, a disinterested insular group, unquote. But observe rather that, quote, young people with their dynamism, their energy, and their inherent understanding of our interconnected world <clears throat> have much to teach us, unquote. As president of Ghana, I subscribe fully to these views. I want to help ensure that our re energetic, restless young population who demand the best in the world get the best. They're not in a mood to wait for the dividends from a slow progression as the hazardous, hazardous trek across the Sahara vividly illustrates. We believe the most effective way to create a society of opportunities for the youth, empower them to confront the challenges of this globally competitive world, and at the same time, realize the 17 UN SDGs, is to guarantee access to education for all our young people. That is exactly what we're doing in Ghana through our policy of free senior high school education. Beginning September last year, we removed one of the biggest obstacles that stood in their way, cost. The free SHS policy ensured that in September 2017, the first year of its implementation, 90,000 more Ghanaian youth gained access to senior high school than in 2016. This year, the number has doubled with 180,000 more young men and women entering senior high school. The policy is here to stay. We're also investing in our institutions of learning, which are the providers of skills and education to our young people. No nation, we all know, can afford to marginalize the youth, the very group that makes up the chunk of its labor force. Education, in our view, is the key. All over the world, access to education is helping in the growth of democracy and political stability. It is allowing citizens, particularly young ones, learn about their rights and responsibilities and helping them acquire the requisite skills and knowledge to exercise them. If we are to ensure that the UN youth strategy succeeds, then together, let us guarantee the youth of our respective countries, irrespective of the circumstances of their birth, unfettered access to education. Ghana will continue to remain an active and dedicated partner to the United Nations in the implementation of this strategy. Through the UN Youth Strategy, we have essentially made a pact with both present and future generations to leave them a better legacy than we inherited from our forebears. Let our generation be at the measure of history. I thank you, Madam President, for your attention. Do you have any African news tips? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to get the latest African news.